Hi, welcome to another new video. So in today's video, we'll be talking about forest grey. So forest grey is one of the colours in the Shemink Horridum's Aquarelle Super Granulating uh, Forest Series. So there are five colours in the forest series and forest grey is one of them. It is made up of three pigments, um, the PBR7, PBK11, PG50. So in a previous video, we, has we have established that the PBR7 uses green uh, umber. Right, so together with Mass Black PBK11, uh, Cobalt Turquoise PG50, it gives you this color. If you will look at the, the, the swatch, you will see that actually the colors, um, it's supposed to be like a semi uh, opaque color, right? Um, which, which, you know, if you use quite a, a, a concentrated mixture, you will actually um, uh, be able to do some kind of a, the opaqueness actually increases. But when you use a diluted mixture, it is kind of a transparent color. In the water in uh, paint, paint in water test, uh, you could actually see um, how it interacts with water, the, the, how it interacts with different pigments. Um, the three pigments pre present, uh, present in the paint separates into three different uh, colors. So you can actually see the, the, the bigger black particles um, from the mass black. You also be able to see at um, that certain regions, uh, the cobalt turquoise with a little bit of that bluish um, particulate matter, and of course a uh, general green umber color that that is like at the background. All right, um, I, I think it really you know if you if you if you want to play with texture, this is a very good color to use because it really has got a lot of texture in just one uh, one one paint itself. Right, you actually see three three different colors inside here. So in, when you look at the pigment information, uh, it has got excellent light fastness. It's supposed to be like a semi-staining, um, yeah, slightly. Uh, we could actually remove most of the colors except the uh, grayish, uh, bluish tone at the bottom that, that actually went into the grains of the, the paper. Um, it is, of course, granulating. Um, warm gray-brown, brown pigment, most visible, and a green pigment, least visible. Um, yeah, and in the in the gradient test, you do see uh, that you have the deposition of that those uh, greenish bluish pigment um, along the way. So let's look at the uh, similar colors. I can't really find my many similar colors, or I can't find any that is the same. So all I can I can find that is it is not exactly the same, but pretty close is undersea green. Even then, it is not. If you do wish to get a gray, a warm gray, like that, that is close to a brown, this is something that you can you can buy. Um, and we look at when we look at its interaction with the different colors, the mixture, like mixing with different colors. Um, it, you know, we all know that it's like a like a grayish brown. So most of the colors would become uh, desaturated with this uh, with this color uh, when you mix with this uh, paint. Um, like you get a series of like olive greens. Uh, with the green pigments and the yellow pigment, with the brown uh, and the red, you get like a deep, like an umber color, and with the blues, you get like the grays. So, this is if you want to desaturate your, your colors, uh, you can use this one. Um, yeah, so that's uh, look at the very similar colors that we have um, in the super granulating series. Um, I can't find many similar colors, but the closest I can find is actually the tundra green. So tundra green is also like a brownish, greenish brown, except that this one, the brown is actually more pronounced, okay? And let's examine how we can use this color in a drawing. So this is the drawing that I made of a florist. Uh, it's called uh, Jungalor, um, and, and I, I deliberately look for a, a shop that has a lot of that, that grey surface so that I can showcase the colour. So as you can see here, um, when you dilute it, I do see that the, the black particles and the blue. And for the thicker mixture, there's actually more of that brown and, it, and, and the, the, how it, it, it's more opaque. And when I mix it with the blues, um, I can get the shadow, like a grey colour. And uh, with the yellow, uh, you, get some of the, you get some of the green. So, um, very beautiful color to use if you are looking at um, uh, using it diluted. If you use it thick, I think you can just use a brown color. Uh, 
it, it, all these super granulating colours look really really nice when you dilute it and, and, and mixed, it, mixed it with different um, ratio proportion of uh, water. So um, I think it would be very nice to use it, let's say, um, probably like on a rock surface, right? So this is what I did with just forest grey alone and then just looking at how it interacts with water and, 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 and things like that. So it probably looked very nice on um, you know, rock surfaces, pebbles, uh, mountains, mountain and uh, maybe a woodland or something like that okay so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video uh, if you did just give me a thumbs up um, and and subscribe if you if you like my content all right so thank you and see you in the next video bye